Greetings. This is Judy Tucker from NWOET, and we're going to be learning about Learn 360, all the features and resources available through Learn 360. Let me share my screen so we can go to a little slide presentation and then we'll be go, we will go live into the Learn 360 website. Learn360 is a streaming media service for pre-K to 12th grade schools. And it's available every day of the week, every hour, 24 seven for students and teachers and parents, caregivers that are helping students with their lessons. And we're gonna explore all these resources today. Learn360 is a service that can be purchased for a discounted price through NWOET, the EdTech agency in Bowling Green, Ohio. Uh, there is the 800 number. I will share this at the end of this slide presentation, uh, or just remember to email NWOET at NWOET.org for a quote. Um, that stands for Northwest Ohio Educational Technology. There is excellent content available for over 500 producers and providers of media and other related resources. This is just a small sampling, some of the ones you may be familiar with, Reading Rainbow, Visual Learning Systems, um, Highlights here in Ohio. Uh, Dr. Seuss, A&E, the BBC, Weston Woods, too many to name. Uh, there's over 560 at this point with more being added uh, as they uh, purchase the rights. So what is Learn360? Well, it started out as streaming media service and has just grown into a service with a lot more than just streaming media. But you can rely on Learn360 to have vetted, safe, and ad-free media. Nothing like YouTube where you're gonna get ads or even copies of media that isn't appropriate for students. Um, you can create and share playlists within the Learn360 uh, program. You can add individual contents or the playlists uh, to different LMS learning management systems that your school might be using. And there is a Google Classroom icon on resources so you can share it directly to Google Classroom or to a Google Drive. Uh, here in Northwest Ohio, Google Classroom is very popular and it just makes it a lot easier to uh, share these resources to have that little icon and I'll be demonstrating that later. Um, this is just an example of the variety of content. There's full length videos and most of those full length videos are also available uh, on that each individual site with clips or some people call those segments. There's teacher's guides to quite a few of the videos. I will say they're not all. I wish all of them had a teacher's guide or some kind of lesson plan uh, resources. There's a section for student activities and worksheets that can be printed out. There's audio books, sound effects, and music tracks. I hope to show you some examples of those uh, actually in the, uh, when we go to the website. There's audio and video speeches. There's really cool interactive games and lessons right within the Learn360 program. Uh, there's images, articles, fact sheets, maps and flags for just about every content area offered in schools. And there's timelines and of course, I say much, much more. Um, this is some of the uh, video series that, it, it, just a sampling of some of those video series that you may have heard of in the past. LeVar Burton's kids, his virtual field trips, Frozen Planet, Planet Earth, um, just 
quite a few different series that are um, added, more added regularly. This is a, uh, the look at the page that's the game and activities. And you can see that they have children's picture books by Weston Woods. Um, there's some four examples of other children's games that are in the elementary section, or if you do a K-12 in uh, the district-wide view. There are, there's a special section for STEM lessons, science, technology, engineering, and mathematic lessons. And those are in the sections for the middle high school or the district-wide selection. The homepage for videos looks something like this and you can customize the grade range you want to see in that whether you want to see uh, k-12 the district-wide or you want to just have the elementary uh, over on the left hand side there's a little drop down menu that you can customize that home page navigation and make it easier for students to get the content that most closely matches their age range um, there's also a menu that will just let you look at feature content and then you can go into all the producers, all the uh, by subject area. There's many different ways you can go in and look at the lessons and of course there is at the top a search uh, box that you can search if you have a, a keyword or two you want to put in there, you can search that way as well. The video player page uh, has lots of easy ways to get the content. You actually can download some of the uh, videos if they have the rights to allow download. There's a transcript on the right hand side that can be translated into over a hundred languages uh, and all of the content at the top, the title, the description and those things can be translated into other languages. However, the videos are not translated. Just want to make that clear and see that uh, you can uh, customize what your preferred language is, but realize that uh, there are some videos that are available in Spanish as well as English, but uh, you can't translate the videos into over a hundred languages. And there's many correlations. So if you want to search by standard, they've got Ohio standards um, for all the different subject areas that we have standards. Um, and also there's Common Core. So if you want to search by standards to see what's available, that is one of the options on the video player page. And you can also search all of the content by standards by doing an advanced search, which is right to the right of that search box at the top of the pages. And sharing, as I said, is very easy with your little icon here for Google Classroom. If you have a website, you can actually see that they provide an embed code and it's there you can copy it and so there's many different ways here are some of the uh, different LMSs that is supported by uh, Learn360, Moodle, Canvas, Schoology. You can customize your Learn360 user account in many different ways as far as what grade, what subjects you teach, uh, your playlist, caption settings and so that can be done, it's an option, does not have to be uh, part, but it, it might help find the best content for your students. And teachers can create playlists that they can uh, put related videos in a kind of like, almost like a folder. And you can see at the bottom of this particular video that it says add to. And so you can use that add to tool to add it to your playlist. And you can have as many playlists as you want to and uh, that can be shared with students in that uh, learning management system or Google Classroom. And one really cool tool is you can make a personalized video 
introduction to that playlist to tell the students perhaps they can choose which videos in the playlist to watch or maybe you want them to uh, do some kind of uh, related assignment to that playlist. So there's many different options on uh, creating that personalized video. There's citations for all of the resources from Learn360 and that depends on which one you want to use. Um, APA, MLA, Chicago, and many other ones. There's a drop down menu that you can choose and pick the one that uh, is easiest for your students, the one you want your students to use. And that Google Translate uh, is an awesome thing. It's found at the bottom of every page so that they can read the directions in whatever language is helpful for them. And that whenever you see that save to Google Drive can be uh, used as your download destination. Um, although remember that there are some titles that are not available for download due to licensing restrictions. And there's a symbol for the stand, Ohio Learning Standards. Of course, there's the Common Core Standards, the National STEM Standards, and other uh, nationwide uh, standards that their content is uh, correlated. Um, other helpful information, if you have anything that you have a question about, they have a very responsive website support at infobase.com. Infobase is the parent company uh, that provides the Learn360 service to schools. That's infobase, I-N-F-O-B-A-S-E.com. And you'll probably get a, a response as I did within 24 hours of turning in your emailing a, a question if you have uh, need of help. Remember that you can purchase Learn360 for a discounted price through NWOET and just email us or call us at our 800 number, 800 966 9638. Um, or the email nwoet at nwoet.org. Okay, we're going to go right to Learn360. And I've already logged in. Um, so it says, hi, Judith, up at the right-hand corner. And that's where uh, a teacher would customize their settings. We'll not go into that quite now. Um, but here's that search window I was talking about. Right now there are 180,108 multimedia assets and you can see the different uh, sections that you can go in and search for printables, the games. We're going to be going into all these really quickly now and just remember though that students will need to log in but you can um, set it up to have them use their Google login. Um, that's something that if students are using Google Classroom, they especially know, or, or even G Suite, they learn their username and password. So uh, it does require a username and password. And the first thing um, your technology and uh, staff would do, your IT staff would be to set up all the teacher accounts, and perhaps they will even set up the student accounts for uh, the different classrooms. So just remember logging in is easy and it will save your login. I know I don't have to put in the password each time I've saved uh, those and it remembers those. So let's first look at the videos. And okay, here it's, since I haven't been in a while, it's asking me to log in. So we'll log back in and you can see, as I said, it remembers who I am and my password. Um, they have featured videos which change from day to day, week to week, showing the different subject areas. Um, I know I taught family and consumer science or, or also known as HOMAC and there were some awesome ones that I maybe uh, get time if uh, time allows to show you. Um, 
that I would definitely have used because video is one thing that students seem to really um, listen to better than say if I were just talking uh, because of the multimedia effects and so forth. So uh, again, these are just the featured ones and you can see there are 22 featured ones and you can go through like this, but this is by all means not all of the man mathematics videos. In fact, if we go to browse subjects, you can see that there are 701 algebra ones, videos or items. I shouldn't say videos, there are that many items. Measurement, 232. A number operations, 1,415 items. So, and you can see they have broken down all these into like health and guidance. There's even a professional development one. There's history, uh, visual and performing arts. In fact, in visual arts, 1,020 resources. So that's one way to go in and look at your subject area to get a, a general idea of what's there. And these are the producers. And as I said, that, that third slide I showed you was just a, you know, very small look at the over 500 producers of these materials. Um, I always like to highlight this highlights for children since it's located in Columbus, out of Columbus, Ohio. And I remember using highlights growing up. That was one thing we subscribed to in our family. So that's one way to look. Um, and the advanced search, you want to go that way, you can put in your search term and you can put in a, a variety of search terms uh, to help narrow down. And you can say, I wanna just see videos or I wanna see encyclopedia uh, items. Um, I wanna see experiments. I want to see maps and flags. That's one of the newer uh, resource areas of Learn360 is the maps and flags. So you can look at all of them or, uh, and then you can also browse the subjects, but this takes you into the exact way that uh, you just put in what uh, Ohio, of course, comes up first. It knows we're in Ohio and then what grade and then what subject it is that you want to be searching for. So that's the advanced search. Now, um, I told you you could, customize your uh, application here. This does not take any kind of uh, iOS app or application. It's actually in a browser, it, you know, any browser, Safari, Edge, Internet Explorer, um, whatever's on your device on a Chromebook. Of course, it's Chrome. Uh, so you just type in learn360.infobase Dot com and it takes you to that login page or just do a plain search for learn 360 and it will lead you to the infobase.com site which starts info base learn 360.infobase.com um, you can go right to those areas that were shown there um, let's just keep it at district but if you put it to elementary you will not get the STEM resources, which are for the older children. Uh, if you do middle school, high school, you won't get the games. And I'll just do that to start with here. You will not get the games and activities that are meant for elementary school. So that's why I like to leave it uh, for demonstration purposes as district. And then I have all of them here. So um, let's take a look at one of the videos. Okay, there we go. Let's just look at this first one in the first row. If there are any teacher's guides or other resources, it would be listed right here. This one does not have any because it does not say the word resources. And if it did, you just scroll down and it's shown right in here. But you can download this particular video. It's our segment. It's only three, three sections, uh, three minutes long. It's the case of the Clockmaster episode one. And it's, that is the full program, very short one. Um, and you can see it says this program has no segments. If it is part of a series, it will show 
what the series title is here, or if it's a part of a segment, it will show what the program title is. Uh, and it also shows the grade and, of course, what language. If it's uh, one that's in Spanish, it would list it there. And if I click and I say, wow, this is perfect for my second grade classroom or doing something about telling time, and this is a, a great way to introduce it, it's going to bring up the Google Classroom and ask you what class are uh, you wanting to add this video to? And you can also then put, is it an assignment? Are you going to ask a question and have the students answer it and submit it? Uh, are you going to make it as an announcement? Probably not. Or are you going to list, put it in a folder for materials for that particular class? I've called the class Learn360 Demo. So that shows you how easy that is to add it to Google Classroom. Um, if you were adding it to something else, you could add it to a playlist or your favorites and the citation, as I told you, um, MLA comes up first because that is the most popular in schools that they've felt. But if the teacher says, I want you to use APA, you can also do, and the student can copy and paste that into perhaps a paper or website or whatever they're creating that uh, their student has used. Now you also can export it in easy bib, noodle tools or RefWorks format if you wish to use any of those. And of course the standards are there if you want to view what standards go along with this one. And they always give these tags showing uh, how the, it would come up in a uh, search under clock, clocks, uh, Martha Christensen, and I'm not even going to try that uh, name right there. So, um, but the transcript is here, and this program has no transcripts. Most of the ones I've seen do have a transcript, though, and that's one of the things that can be translated into uh, other languages. And right here, uh, we can just do a real quick into, let's say, Spanish. And you'll see that in a second it will pop to a Spanish title. At least it should if I had clicked it right. Okay, Spanish. Maybe this one won't do it. But basically it just has the title in Spanish. These words are listed in Spanish. Not sure why it's not translating it right now, but if you do translate it into one of these languages, English shows up at the very top. There we go. Just got to do a little work. Episodio 1. And you can see those are the Spanish. Now when you say, oh wow, how do I get back to English? It puts the previous language up there. It took me a while to find out where since it wasn't alphabetical. So, so that's the video section. Okay, let's just go back to I'm just clicking on the icon Learn360 to bring up that um, page again with all these activities. And since I did district wide, this includes resources for all grades, the games and activities. Click there and it has featured ones. And what I also taught reading, I would definitely have used these featured reading activities where they come from Mr. Nussbaum's learning games and activities. Maybe you've heard of him. He has a website. I haven't visited it for a while, but just to know I don't have to go in, have the students go to another website. Their list of questions after the student reads the uh, uh, passage here, there are questions that go along with it. There's nothing that really keeps track of these the student would just have to do a screenshot or, or keep a log of uh, if the teacher is uh, wanting to keep the scores. But there's quite a few different stories, not just about people. Here's one about Tyrannosaurus rex. Um, here's one about dolphins. So quite a few reading activities. Again, I can cite it. I can also take it right to Google Classroom. It'll go in the same way as that other one did. One little click on the icon and boom, up will come Google Classroom and say, what class do you want to put it in? So that's very neat. Okay, going back to 
the games and activities. There's not just reading activity, there's math games that show drag and drop. And these can be very helpful to prepare students for the exams they will be asked to take in the future when they have to drag and drop things. Um, there's social studies games, language arts games. And remember, doing an advanced search, you can <coughs> search for just games. Okay. Um, reading activities. Look at all the reading activities <coughs> and the learning games. Sometimes resources, for instance, uh, don't have a lot of math videos compared to other subject areas like language arts and social studies and science. This one, look, 61 math games. Uh, let's just look at this war pretzels. Now, obviously, these are elementary uh, is the best, but um, now I have not, I have to be honest, I have not tried these on uh, an iPad. That's the next thing I'm going to do, I think, when this um, is finished, is try these on an iPad to see if, because I know some of the original ones of Mr. Nussbaum's did not work well on uh, iPads or Android tablets because of the flash. Uh, so um, I'll need to try that out in the sea of the games. I'm guessing that uh, it's been a while since flash has been an issue that they probably do work now on uh, all of the devices. I know the videos work excellent on iPads and even my uh, smartphone um, didn't have any problem whatsoever searching for things. So. So that's a look at the games and activities. The printables, bring those up. These are, of course, all downloadable. And if uh, you wish to print them out, they're PDF form, but you also could share them versus Google Classroom or other uh, learning management systems. So as far as, uh, let's do the simple machines diagram one. Again, you could share it in Google Classroom so you do not have to print it out. And you may make an assignment where the students have to answer some questions about the particular one. And if you use another in learning management system, uh, say one from Microsoft, you could download the file, put it in your OneDrive and Again, share it with your learning management system that you may use through Microsoft. So again, it's a full page, so you can scroll down. You get that little bar there. Uh, scroll down to see the entire. They're very well done. So that was the printables. There's fact sheets and math activities too. The audio, these are the ones where the speeches, okay, it's not coming up yet, but it will. Again, I haven't had a lot of trouble with uh, the things. Once in a while, my internet, I live in the country, so it isn't always the same speed, depending on all the neighbors using it. But there are music tracks, there's um, 1912 Overture, I think I remember that, in band over 50 years ago. Um, again, if you want to see all of the music tracks, you can click here and get lists. I mean, there are thousands. There are audiobooks. Uh, I can't believe that, how, how quickly that popped up. Um, there are audio speeches, there are sound effects. And so the students could put these into all kind, download and put them into all kind of um, projects that they might be using. I think that would be pretty cool to have. There are some eerie sound effects if they were writing a story and they wanted to put a sound effect into that. I mean, look, it just goes on and on and on and on. So, so that's the audio. 
section and the flags and maps. Again, there's historical maps, there's thematic maps, uh, all downloadable. And these are just the featured ones. Let's go back to the STEM lessons. Again, the STEM lessons will not show up if you um, have chosen the elementary. Okay, and these are actual lesson plans that are interactive. So if you uh, choose function and its graph, there's that Google Classroom again that you could put that right into uh, Google Classroom as an assignment. And there are multiple pages. There's even um, an assessment that you that will be part of this particular STEM lesson. So, so those are pretty cool if you teach science, math, or any of these anything STEM related, or even have a STEM class to use those. So that's a real quick overview. As I pointed out, if you have any questions. There's a help button down here, or you can contact it with support at infobase.com. There's that infobase logo down there at the bottom. But I really think it is worth every penny a district might spend on that. You can purchase it just for a building or for the entire district. Again, I can't give you any prices because it does, uh, it is determined by the size of your district or building. Um, I do want to show something that is also out there that for Ohio students, and that is Info Ohio. You may already know about this, but in the grades K5, 6, 8, or 9, 12, it doesn't matter which one you pick, they all have a link to the digital video collection that is uh, originally created by the media centers here in Ohio. They're Ohio Area Media Centers. And originally it had its own website and now it's included on the Info Ohio resources. So we should be getting that up here in a second. Um, don't ignore this little I button. If you go into there, there's other information about the digital video collection, online help, science online, and you can actually bookmark it or have a direct link or put it right into Google Classroom. But we're gonna open the digital video collection just to show you how awesome it is for Ohio schools. Um, they have the entire collection of our Ohio uh, dub videos done by the um, Ohio Farm Bureau. Every, the first thing I checked on Learn360 was, do they have any Bill Nye the Science Guy videos? Because the digital video collection has all of the Bill Nye the Science Guy in fact, it says here there are there's a playlist someone made of those Bill Nye the Science Guy videos, and you can search by series. Um, uh, let's browse by series and see that Bill Nye the Science Guy is there. And I mean, like I said, there are hundreds of videos. This R Ohio is the one that. Um, you might find very interesting if you do anything with um, history as far as Ohio. Um, there's uh, the Ohio Farm Bureau provides these to our media center to Info Ohio to put on and there are four different segments. Um, odd jobs, tavern dinners at Carillon Park. I have to tell you, I'm not really sure where that's located. Uh, I'm sure if we watched that part of that segment, we would know where it's located, but Honda soybeans, local matters, farmers produce auction, just all kind of things. And you can even send just a segment to your Google Classroom if you use that for providing assignments to students, information to students. And these can actually be downloaded. 
all of the Info Ohio um, digital video collection can be downloaded and you just basically click on whatever the segment or the whole program and you say download. Now it's got the embed code as well. So if you have a website and you need that um, HTML code, you can get it for the segment or for the full program. And many of the series uh, here have like the Bill Nye the Science Guy. Let's just do that one quick. I guess it's one of my favorites because um, he makes science so much fun. Let's just go to the first, the fourth, third one here, Adams. And they have a teacher's guide for every one of the Bill Nye the Science Guy. And they're pretty cool. If I were substituting, I would certainly use the kind of questions. And some of them are actually more in color than this particular one, this one on Adams. But still, this is enough to give you some interesting things to do before or after the students view the Bill Nye the Science Guy video. So they can view it, of course, in a small version, or they can bump it up to the full screen version. Now, remember, I turned off the sound. But um, again, this is the full version. Um, and uh, hit escape there. So that's a digital video collection. If you've never been to Info Ohio, it is simply infohio.org. And that's one O in the middle. If you put two O, you'll get to some site that is not Info Ohio. It's, it's Ohio's pre K to 12th grade digital library. And I wanted to point out the videos that are totally free to Ohio schools. You do not have to log in. I'm as um, Info Ohio statewide user if you go just to infoohio.org. If you know your school's username and password, you actually can log in with that and it will give you the library um, resources in your district uh, if the school uses if the library uses a cataloging system uh, by a company called Searcy which is uh, provided to schools through Info Ohio if they wish to use it but there are other systems for library cataloging besides uh, Searcy so it's the cat and cat junior system so so that's something not at all related to the uh, Learn 360, but I just wanted to make sure that you were aware of it because you can't find everything in any one place. Um, there's videos, like I said, they don't have Bill Nye the Science Guy. Now, I did do a search for Bill Nye and I think they have some, he has done other things. In fact, he's not making any new Bill Nye the Science Guy. He's got these other videos, Global Meltdown, um, Politicians in Denial. He has a title, ser the series or the program, Bill Nye's Global Meltdown. So, and that's from 2015. And they always tell you how new um, the videos, when they were made. And there's some that are older that are still really good, no matter how old. Now there's some, uh, from a series called City of Tomorrow, Daily Planet and Classroom. So they have some Bill Nye, but they don't have any Bill Nye the Science Guy. So if you are an elementary science, you teach elementary science, remember infoohio.org and look for the digital video collection. Um, we're going to close now. That's about 40 minutes or just under 40 minutes that uh, we've been going here. And so um, again, if you need a quote just to see what it might cost for your school or district to purchase Learn360, give us a call. Um, and I am sure you probably even could get a demonstration. I know you can go on the Info Ohio Info Base site and get, I think it's a week free um, trial if you want to check it out um, because I'm sure I, I did not have time to cover everything that's there. That, that would take years. So, well, thank you very much for joining us today and uh, good luck with your learning in K-12, pre-K-12 schools. Um, no matter what form it takes this year, we all are still up in uh, with lots of questions about what this year will look like. So, but Learn360 could certainly be uh, helpful uh, part for learning, whether it's in-person, 
a hybrid blended or remote whatever kind of uh, the future uh, requires. Bye-bye.